I'm Kerry Davis. I'm the Professor of Anatomy at Imperial College London and I was President of the Society from 2010 until 2013. I first joined the Society towards the end of my PhD. Um, I was doing my PhD in an anatomy department and I was getting data with which I wanted to communicate to people and it seemed natural that I joined the Anatomical Society to go to meetings to be able to speak and I was rightly advised that students are actually looked after quite well in the Anatomical Society and are encouraged and given a relatively easy time on their early performances uh, on stage as it were. So I joined the Society in 1978 and I have been a member ever since. Um, society meetings were quite different uh, um, uh, in, uh, when I first joined, but one of the benefits uh, was um, that there was no registration fee. So you could just turn up at a meeting um, and w uh, no cost. And as a student, I knew people in universities around the country, so I used to sleep on floors at meetings, etc. Um, things have changed now because universities charge societies for rooms and you know we have to t take that on board. Um, in the 1970s uh, the people looked, students looked very different from their supervisors. I have to say I had rather long hair and flared trousers in those days and the officers were I guess a bit like me now, they wear suits and, and ties, but actually, even though they looked completely different and there seemed to be a generational difference, they were very welcoming. First, um, meeting dinner I went to, the first thing that uh, the President said in his speech after the dinner was to welcome students and junior members to the meeting. There are, uh, 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 there are more students and members in the society now than there were then, and uh, the idea of a student councillor in 1978 you wouldn't have even been considered so I mean things have moved on and I, I, I guess the major difference is that students are now an organized part of the society rather than just be welcome but they, you know there are official places for them to participate. It was a, a prove joining the society gave me the opportunity of the platform to speak, have my work criticised, and the Anatomical Society is an incredibly broad church. As my career developed, I would have an interest in science, which was predominantly neuroscience, but I was looking to a teaching career, so hearing talks about education brought me my knowledge of uh, clinical anatomy and anatomy teaching. Um, I could always find something that was interesting. It's the kind of meeting where uh, one tends to go to every presentation rather than just select the ones that your research is, in, uh, is directly involved in. The president obviously is a, a titular head of the society, is a figurehead and represents the society to outside bodies, but is also uh, effectively the chief executive officer of the council. So um, plays a, it, the president plays quite a large role uh, in uh, determining the direction of the society during the, ten the tenure. Obviously the council can always vote the president down, but um, it, the, 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 it, I think every president has uh, a few things that they would like to do during their tenure. Um, and before they hand on the baton. I think the major thing was rather boring, but uh, very necessary. Um, as I became president, um, I'd been the secretary beforehand and I worked very closely with Susan Standring to uh, change the organization of the governance of the society. And so my main job was to implement that change, uh, to try to make council more effective uh, more in touch with the membership and more responsible to it. And I think um, 
I would say this, wouldn't I? But I think it's worked, um, and not because I've implemented it, but because the structure is now better than it was before. I don't think that the uh, that in terms of how anatomy has changed in in my scientific and teaching lifetime, in many ways it hasn't changed much. If if you accept that knowledge and the questions are the important things, it is the tools that have changed. Um, I think one of the most disappointing things is that so much research that used to be done in anatomy departments is now no longer considered to be anatomy, when you consider that most neuroscience originated in anatomy departments, most developmental biology originated in anatomy departments. And so many departments now are teaching only f facilities. And I, I find that quite sad, and that people should recognize what, how broad anatomy is, um, morphological science. And even if it's not done in anatomy department, um, it still is, in my view, anatomy. Um, now, as a, a head of uh, a department, I'm very much concerned with maintaining standards of the courses we give to our undergraduates and postgraduates, and I think that's something that we always have to have in mind. Um, majority of our students are medical students or veterinary students, and these are professional courses where standards have to be maintained. It's not something I'll choose to do that option or that option. They have to have a sound knowledge and with anatomy so much of clinical examination and clinical skills are based on a knowledge of anatomy. For a graduate to be safe and competent I feel very strongly that it's part of my role to make sure they have a sound basis in anatomy. There is a problem um, in that anatomy departments have been shrinking and uh, when I had my first lectureship, we had 95 students and there were six members of academic staff. And I was the youngest and uh, the professor was about to retire. So from the age, of, from 30 up to 65, there were people who taught me something. Uh, all of them taught me something. And now in departments where there may only be one department, only one anatomist, um, the society has become de facto the department for some people. Mm -hmm. This is where they um, try out their ideas, ask for advice, get further training. Uh, the anatomy training program only exists because there are so many departments now where it can't be done in-house. And I think that, that is something the society should be very proud of and w will continue. Now, what advice would I give to a young anatomist? Difficult question. Um, I think it would be along the lines of, if you're going to be an experimental scientist, you really have to know how to design an experiment, get data that has some meaning, mm -hmm. and um, then uh, then your research will be good. Don't get hung up on one technique. Ask a question and get the techniques to answer the question. What did I enjoy most about being president of the society? I think I enjoyed most the fellowship of the council and other members of the society. Quite, quite simply that. It was a, a, a delight to work with people who, from very different backgrounds scientifically, but with the same overall aims, trying to deliver quality and sustainability for the society. It, it, it's important that the society maintains the, the role of the department for anatomy within the British Isles and uh, overseas and the, the anatomical society is just by a few months the second oldest anatomical society in the world and it still very much punches above its weight. 
So things uh, such as the uh, core curriculum are being accessed uh, in widespread parts of the world and taken note, note of. So we can have an effect on a curricula throughout the world and in, in many ways I think we should because I don't see why the standards in India should be different from the States or should be different from here. We should be singing from the same hymn sheet and so many of our students when they gradu graduate will work if not permanently at least for a while overseas and I would want them to have at least you know that the whole world should be uh, training to the same standards and and um, and for uh, continue to mentor um, not just students um, but junior academics who within their own department do not have the same mentoring that I experienced when I was a junior lecturer just because of the number of people within the department who could help me uh, and, and teach me. And I feel very strongly that um, teaching only departments are not a good idea. The role of an academic is teaching and research. They are complementary. The Anatomical Society is now 130 years old. Um, it was formed marginally after the Anatomische Gesellschaft, Anatomische Gesellschaft, which is the German society, um, because of the importance. Well, anatomy was then the premier medical discipline, and the society started the journal of, as it was then, the anatomy and physiology. But um, physiologists started to wear sandals and split off um, and the, the Journal of Physiology is an eminent uh, journal in its own right and the Journal of Anatomy continues to this day as arguably the major journal of anatomy in the world. And the society is very proud of it.